Now, of course, these instruments couldn't play themselves. There were many composers in the classical period. Today, we will mention two. Ludwig van Beethoven, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Some people say that Mozart can hear the complete song in his head before he even finished writing it. The clip you're about to watch comes from the movie Amadeus. Watch as we see Mozart write one of his famous songs. As the song is being written, Mozart hears it being played in his head. To us, the audience, we can also hear what he is imagining. You have me. I think so. Show me. Now the tenors, fourth beat of the first measure on C. Second measure, fourth beat, D. All right. Yes, 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 continue. Second beat of the fourth measure on F. Now the orchestra. Second bassoon and bass trombones with the basses, identical notes and rhythm. First bassoon, tenor trombones with the tenors. Go no too fast. Do you have it? Go no too fast. Do you have it? First bassoon, tenor trombone, what? With the tenors. Identical? Of course. The instruments I... doubling the voices. Now, trumpets and timpani, no. trumpets and D. No, no. D listen no, to me. I don't understand. Listen. Trumpets and D, tonic and dominant, first and third beats. It goes with the harmony. Yes, yes, yes. I understand. The next clip you're about to see comes from the movie Immortal Beloved. This movie involves the other great Ludwig von Beethoven. This part of the movie, Beethoven is deaf, but as we see him standing and watching the orchestra play, we can see him still being able to hear the music as he thinks of his childhood life. This possibly explains how he was able to write his songs. He wrote how he remembered feeling, and through these feelings came music he really never heard.
we have shown you the classical period through the many genres, instruments, and composers it claimed. To us, this was a great period, musically showing the world that anything can happen. We just have to find it first. Goodbye.